Here are the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. The Kadiwa ng Pasko project will still be implemented even beyond the holiday season. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. said he wants to continue the project for the benefit of consumers and local agricultural producers. During the Kadiwa ng Pasko caravan in Quezon City, Marcos praised the local government for serving as a role model for other cities and municipalities. He said Kadiwa can also be considered as among his best Christmas gift to the Filipinos. Ang maganda sa pa pamahalan ng ang nangunguna ay ang pamahalan ay hindi kailangang kumita. Kaya kahit walang kita kung ano yung binili, paano, uh, kung, kailan bin uh, kung magkano binili, ganun din ipinagbibili. Kaya uh, ito yung naging... Uh, lamang ng uh, kadiwa. Kaya uh, bukod pa, bukod pa ron, ay palapit na ng palapit tayo sa presyo na aking uh, pinapangarap para sa bigas especially. Uh, dahil nakakapag, nakakapag ano na tayo na ipapagbili na natin ng 25 pesos. Ubus ka agad yan. yan sigurado yan ang unang nauubos. Eh. Uh, kaya gagawin natin ito, national program na Hindi lamang sa mga LGU, magtutulungan na ang Office of the President at ang ating mga LGU para lahat, dahan-dahan kumakalat ang dami nito. Kaya yan po ang ating, uh, yan po ang ating uh, uh, dapat ipagpatuloy. At uh, masasabi ko na kahit pagkatapos na ng New Year, ay hindi naman namin ititigil yung kadiwa sa Pasko. Patuloy ng patuloy na yan. In other news, the President expressed his readiness to partner with China for possible joint oil exploration in the West Philippine Sea. In an interview, Marcos said he is open to other ways of exploring oil and gas resources in the contested waters. He also acknowledged the constitutional problems that caused delays in the possible joint exploration between the Philippines and China. The Philippines signed a Memorandum of Understanding with China in 2018 for joint oil and gas development in the West Philippine Sea. But the deal was terminated under the Duterte administration due to constitutional constraints and issues. This year, Marcos and Chinese President Xi Jinping both agreed that there is a need to ramp up the conclusion of negotiations for the final and binding code of conduct in the South China Sea to help address the maritime disputes among littoral states. News from the provinces. Members of the Indigenous Peoples Community in Santo Tomas, Davao del Norte received 100 housing units from the National Housing Authority in Davao Region. Acting Division Manager Ariel Puyo said the turnover of the 20 million peso project last Tuesday at the Ata Manobo Community in Barangay San Jose is manifestation of the government's commitment to uplift the lives of vulnerable sectors. Each housing unit costs 200,000 pesos. Santo Tomas Mayor Roland De Sica thanked the NHA for the housing project in their town. De Sica reminded the beneficiaries to take good care of the houses as it would change their lives for the better. Tribal leader Dato Pepito Tawaitai of the Atamanobo also thanked the national government for the project. Moving on to news overseas, the Islamic State Jihadist Group has announced the death of its leader, Abu Hassan al-Hashimi al-Qurashi, as well as the installation of a replacement. A spokesperson said that Shimi was killed in combat and Abu al-Hussein al-Husseini al-Qurashi had been named as the group's new leader. The U.S. Military Central Command reported that Hashimi had been killed by rebels of the Free Syrian Army in the Ra'a province in southern Syria in October. U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby welcomed the news of the Islamic State leader's death. The Islamic State saw its rise in Iraq and Syria in 2014 before collapsing from attacks of its enemies. It was defeated in Iraq in 2017 and in Syria two years later. The group or its branches continue to hold attacks in both countries and elsewhere, including Afghanistan, Iran, and Israel. 
And that's the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We are also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and Radio Pilipinas RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I'm Marita Muahe. We tell stories that inspire change.